Welcome to another edition of Life on This Planet with me, David Uncleborough. Today we've come to Boulders Beach in the Cape of Good Hope National Park to see a unique penguin, the African penguin, Svenicus demersus, to clever people, which used to be called the jackass penguin. But in these days of political correctness, we can't call it that anymore. Not on the BBC anyway. <laughs> Sorry, got a bit of wind there. I mean, wind on the outside, not personal wind. Probably the whole species has evolved and speciated uh, from uh, another extinct penguin called Svenicus predimersus, a species which we actually have one and a half fossil bones, which is enough to reconstruct a whole chapter of natural history around, if you believe in evolution. These bones, if you believe the dating methods, come from the late Pliocene period either Pliocene or Pleistocene, one or the other. Uh, now, uh, this penguin is found all around the southern tip of Africa, um, mainly on island colonies with also two mainland colonies, and numbers in total about 179,000 um, animals. The pairs mate for life and have two chicks at a time. One partner swims each day 40 kilometres into False Bay, avoiding attacks from anchovies and sardines in order to gorge themselves on great white sharks, which they carry back to them in their gullets for their families. If a partner does not return within three days, the surviving spouse will drown the chicks in the sea rather than let them face starvation and will remain a faithful widow or widower to the rest of their days. It is hard to understand how a trait like that could have evolved, but if you think about evolution carefully enough, you'll see it couldn't have happened anyway.